Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jamie, your expedition leader, giving you the final call. You'll need hat, sunscreen, water, as it will be warm. Optional footwear, folks. Thank you. I'm James Anderson, mostly called Jamie, and I've been in this role for around 17 years with the company. Back in 2002, I was teaching, and I was asked by a friend of mine if I was interested in doing a job I was fed up with teaching and so I said oh, I'll give it a go. He put me on the Kimberley run for the first time. The people travelling the Kimberley will see a massive diversification of not only animals and plants, but also the rock systems. Geology is huge in the Kimberley due to its age. It is the most remote wilderness area left in Australia really and luckily, it's still like that. It's not overrun yet, more and more vessels are coming in, but at the same time, when it comes down to it, there's still plenty of places you can go without seeing anybody. The remoteness makes it one of the most magnificent trips around. You can't get bored anywhere that we go. Everything's new. The weather changes, the, the light changes. You've also got the marine side of things. These are with the whales and, and dolphin. Also going up into river systems that uh, nobody else goes into. It is the most unique reef in the world. It comes out of water, exposes itself twice a day. And it depends on the, the tidal level as to how much of the reef is exposed. So what we have seen on our cruise, this particular trip has been just extraordinary. The indigenous populations, there are three different groups that we go through. We go through the Wanabal Gambera people, we go through the Warra country, and we go through the Bardi country. They departed basically in 1942, and uh, so we're lucky to go through those particular different areas. And it's nice if we can uh, see them along the way. Oh, I think you always miss home, especially as you get a little bit older. But when it comes down to it, uh, you get enough time off at home and then go back onto the sea. I'm lucky I live in the country and I have three weeks at sea, so I have the best of both worlds. The Hunter River is small, it's only about 36 kilometres in length. If anybody's thinking of being an expedition leader, to me, they need a great passion. They need to have a knowledge of the area they're going into. Not a Google knowledge, they need to be able to answer as many questions as possible and they certainly need to be able to manage people properly. You have to keep a smile on your face. I'm in the age group of most of the guests, so I talk to them, not down at them. I talk with them. I enjoy their conversation, and that's probably the best way I can go through it. I'll go until I drop dead. That may not be all that long away, but I'll go as long as I possibly can.